It's time to decorate. I have my Mardi Gras socks on. It's about to get wild. Hey guys, it's Jill and today I'm making a king cake. Now, for the first time I ever bake on this channel, I could make something like easy like cupcakes or brownies or literally anything else, but no, we're gonna take it up a level. We're gonna make a king cake. So if you don't already know this, I live in Louisiana and it's Mardi Gras season. And when it's Mardi Gras, you can go to any grocery store and find a million different kinds of king cakes and a million different flavors. But instead of doing that, that's for simple people. We're gonna make our own. And this is not really um, a how to cook video, more of a cook with me because I have no idea what I'm doing. And um, hopefully it turns out good. So I'm taking this recipe from the Cajun Ninja. If you ever wanna know how to cook like real Cajun food, he's your guy, cause he, his stuff is all good. But I'm just now looking at the recipe and it says like, let this sit for two hours, let this sit for 40 minutes, and it's already like six o'clock at night, so I don't know if we're gonna be doing all that. Okay, it says start out by heating a pot on simmering heat. Step one, wait. Okay, this recipe makes two king cakes, and I'm only trying to make one, so half a stick of butter. Okay, so we literally just started and I already have a problem. The cream cheese is like chunky, like it's not melting. I hope that's okay. I'm taking a picture so I can show y'all because there's no way that this is right. Okay, that's good enough. Add the yeast and a spoonful of the sugar to half a cup of water. Oops. Okay, so apparently before we even melted this, we were supposed to be doing something with the yeast and I didn't do that. This is already a disaster. So I added a whole spoonful of the sugar to this water, but I forgot I cut the recipe in half. So hope that's okay. It says to use a mixer for this, but that, I don't want to go get that out. I just don't. It says you can hand mix it, but it's not recommended, but um, that's what we're gonna do. Whenever you put yeast in water, it gets like so gross, and, ugh, and it smells so bad. But bread is so good, so. Again, it said use a mixer. We're not doing that. But um, it says mix it in a mixer for five minutes. So by hand, it's probably gonna be like, oh, it's probably gonna be a lot longer than that. So this is the perfect time for me to tell you what king cake actually is, if you don't know. So during Mardi Gras in Louisiana, this doesn't seem like enough flour. I don't know. During Mardi Gras in Louisiana, we have this cake that we eat called king cake, and it's basically a cinnamon roll cake, but it can be filled with like anything. On top there's always like different color sprinkles and then there's like beads and all kinds of stuff on it. And then in the middle somewhere, there's a plastic baby. that says to represent baby Jesus. And whoever finds the baby has to buy the king cake for the next like get together. And so when we were little, it'd always be like a thing a couple weeks before Mardi Gras, our teacher would bring a king cake and then we'd have one for the next couple of weeks because whoever got the baby would get the next one, so on. It was fun, but um, they're kind of hard to make, or at least I hear. We're gonna find out, but you can buy them literally everywhere, especially at donut shops, a lot of donut shops carry them. Also, I'm doing a Mardi Gras video right now about Mardi Gras from where I'm from, and like going to all the things that we have in the parades. So look out for that, because I also kind of talk about, like, for the people who don't know what Mardi Gras is, I kind of talk about what it is. Okay, see you in two hours. Okay, I'm back. I went and ate crawfish during the two hours that this was rising. So basically, I'm making a king cake. It's Mardi Gras. I just ate crawfish. Like, I'm from Louisiana. So I'm supposed to punch the dough. 
take my rings off. All right. Don't know what that just did. But before I start rolling this out, I have to make the fillings. And in this recipe, he only used cinnamon and brown sugar and butter. But I like when it has a lot of filling in it. So I'm also going to make like a cream cheese frosting filling. For the cream cheese filling, I'm using Emerald Lagasse's recipe for king cake. And if you don't know who that is, I'm so sorry. So Emerald Lagasse is like my childhood. I only watch Food Network. If you know me, my TV is always on Food Network or TLC. Like it stays on there. I love cooking shows and I love reality TV. But when I was three years old, I vividly remember sitting on the couch and like it was the first time I ever like really watched a Food Network show. And it was Emerald Lagasse. I don't even know what he was making, but it was just like a turning point in my life. And after that, Food Network stan. That was dramatic. I'm gonna microwave this because it's not happening. Is this microwave safe? Okay, I microwaved it. This is hard. I make this a little bit more liquidy because it's still really thick. I'm gonna add some milk. Just a little bit, okay, that's enough. Also, I'm gonna add this vanilla bean paste I got in Mexico. Maybe I'm not, because I can't open it. Oh, wow, that worked. Then just a little bowl, I'm taking the light brown sugar, the white sugar, and the cinnamon for the other filling. If you can't tell by how much sugar we put in this recipe, it's really not good for you. This is not an all the time thing. Now, I'm gonna roll out the dough, but I'm gonna zoom the camera in so you can see what's going on. First, I'm just taking butter and painting it on. You actually do this so the cinnamon sugar sticks to the dough, but because I'm putting a filling on before, that's kind of unnecessary, but I think butter makes everything taste better, so I don't want to skip it because, I don't know, I just really like butter. And then I'm going to make a little circle with this king cake. You're supposed to let this rise for 40 more minutes, but it's already 9 o'clock, and I'd like to eat this at some time today. So I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to put some more butter on it and then just put it in the oven because it's starting to get late. It's time to decorate. I have my Mardi Gras socks on. It's about to get wild. Okay, I took it out of the oven. It's been in the refrigerator cooling. Whenever it was in the oven, I took some milk and powdered sugar and just mixed that together until it had like an icing consistency. And now I'm just gonna put that over the king cake and then take these colored sprinkles. Well, actually they're called sanding sugars and just kind of decorate it. As a finishing touch, 
You have to take the baby, little plastic baby, and hide it inside the cake. So, ta-da! Um, I, I just hope it tastes good. Let's say that. Oh, the inside's really pretty. Look, it did a good little layering thing. Yay! Okay. I don't care what it looks like, that tastes awesome. Maybe it's just because I made it, but I think this is one of my favorite king cakes I've ever had. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed baking with me. I'm gonna have another Mardi Gras related video at the end of this week where I show you what Mardi Gras is like in Southwest Louisiana. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.